do things the right way, man. Do things the right way and play our brand of football. It's easy, all right? And let's have a great day. Let's honor these seniors in the right way. All right, those of you, you know that. You guys respect these seniors. You guys know what they've done and given to this football program. It's only right that we send these guys out the right way, man. And what I mean by the right way is winning the game and playing at a high level. Winning the game and playing at a high level, all right? Uh, we got it going. All right, we got it going. Good job. All right, hey, I want to say many thanks to the seniors. Take care of yourself and let's get back to work tomorrow. And finish this thing the right way and see what happens. All right, and see what happens. Um, I was just trying to go out there and do my job. Um, I've been trying to really focus on, you know, doing the, doing the little things right. Uh, you know, keeping my head, doing, doing some breathing before it, and just knowing that I can go out there and do the job. Oh man, everything. Uh, that whole, that whole senior class was. They're my dudes. Um, every time they come back to campus, it's, it's great to see them. And with, you know, having, having Reed here all the time, he's always good to be around with, and, you know, good to see him, all the time. So much. An, un an unbelievable amount. It, uh, it felt it felt really really good to finally get out there and you know do what I'm here to do. <laughs> it's not sore right now, but it's probably going to be pretty sore tomorrow. Yeah, that was a uh, that was an unex unexpected scenario. We kind of thought Tyler was still going to go out there, but uh, they said my name and I said all right. It was a great throw by Braxton. We ran two outs off to the side. You made a good throw. I was able to get in the end zone. Really exciting. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting too. I've gotten a few drives throughout the year, but getting to String some drives together, I think is big. And a lot of young guys are really good in today, and I think that's going to be big going forward in the next year as well. It's not too bad. We do a lot of the same stuff. And um, I've been in the fullback position as well since I've moved to slot. So I've still kind of been going back and forth. But it's really not too bad. <laughs> yeah, um, really either side, a lot of our routes, you can run from either position. It's the same thing, so it's pretty easy. Oh, absolutely. They've done so much for me. JV, Denzel, Jalen, all the guys that I've kind of played behind, they've helped me a lot. And it's big getting that one for them. Uh, it was a pretty surreal feeling, you know, being here for five years and getting to know the group of guys that I've been around, the seniors I've, you know, came in with. And it's, it's a bittersweet feeling and the fact that, you know, uh, just being here and being a part of this program has, has meant the world to me. And, uh, it's made me a better person, it's made me a better man, and um, uh, there's not much more I think you can ask for from that. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. You've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line for doing what they do week in and week out and allowing us to be successful. And you know those guys, I don't think, get enough credit for what they do. So um, shout out to them for opening holes for guys like me to, to get the yards and to score the touchdowns. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun one going you know, back to my home state and uh, ending the regular season with with UCO is going to be is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of emotion there too. Um, but we're not looking to be done next week. We're looking to you know to get out of there with a win and um, you know we'll get into a bowl game and finish the season strong there. Well, I think a lot of the first quarter was just emotion. Um, 
like I said, been, there's a lot of guys that, have, that came in here as, as freshmen and been here four and five years. So, you know, we're really close. And even the guys that have only been here, you know, one or two years, everybody's gotten really close. And I think there's a lot of emotion that, that went into that. And um, I think, like you said, everybody, we just kind of settled in and realized, you know, okay, we got to get to work now. And, and, you know, we did and we, we started, you know, that second quarter, we, you know, we did really well, and to end the game, we played really well, and it was good to get some of the younger guys in there to get some reps as well. The last day out here, um, it was pretty cool to come out here and win the way we did. Um, I probably won't think too much about it now. I mean, it'll be special, I feel like, for years to come, but today it's just another win at home. Right, you know, Cole, he's uh, he does his job. He does his job really well. You can tell him anything to do. Um, he's going to do it. Um, if he messes up, it's usually only once. And he's a big guy who gives his first little role there. You know, when JB comes out, he can go in and he can make the plays. It's not quite what JB can, you know, because nobody can do that. But he goes in there and he makes the plays that he needs to make. So. No, you know, they were coming out one high, two look, and one high, two high look all week. And that's what we practiced. But, you know, I don't think it had a whole lot to do with them other than us, just penalties. And, I think we had like four or five holding penalties in those first two drives, which is unacceptable. And, um, we had a self for field goals. All right, yeah. Um, it was cool to see him come out here. I don't think we attempted a field goal since the first game of the year. And he came out here and he made both of them. And um, that takes, I mean, I'm sure that gives him a lot of confidence. And it gives. It takes pressure off of, us, off of us, especially in the red zone on third downs, you know, not having to try to push towards the end zone. So uh, I think it gives us another aspect on that. Uh, thanks. That was. Uh, well, I was frustrated a little bit early. Uh, just didn't think we got off to a really good start. I know our guys were ready to play. I think we just kind of pressed a little bit, and man, it threw a lot of flags. Like I said, too, a lot of holding calls, and um, we had to we got behind the chains. But we're, we overcame it and played the way that we needed to play uh, for, for, all, for all four quarters. And, and defensively, we we got a shutout. That was one of the things we talked about at halftime: is maintaining, um, you know, the, the prep continuing to put pressure on them and not let them get in the end zone. And uh, it was a good day. It was a great day for a great group of seniors. Well, we'd like for them not to be down there inside the five to see that toughness. You know, we'd like to hold them out. But, uh, you know, at that point in time, uh, you know, I was frustrated. It was good to have them step up to the plate and, and get a stop. We about got a turnover down there, too. And that was another thing I thought kind of got us a little bit out of rhythm. You know, field position, you know, we were inside the one. We had to get it out. And, uh, we, we really were executing very well offensively. We just had some penalties that really backed us up. He did a great job, took advantage of his opportunities. You know, we haven't given those guys very many opportunities after the first part of the season, and and, and those guys have, have uh, worked really hard. Uh, Sam and Clark both. Uh, it was good to see Sam. Sam's actually the last two or three weeks of practice has, has done a fantastic job, and, and that was one of the reasons I felt – confident enough to, to send the field goal unit out there is because I wanted to, to carry over today, and it did, uh, and that was good to see. And I think once he got that first one, uh, I think that confidence uh, really helped him. And, man, he was even booming the kickoffs, you know, getting him in the end zone, and we really hadn't had that much at all this year. So uh, really good to, to see Sam Dobbins um, come out and perform the way that he did. You know, we did. We wanted to play our seniors, Greg, as much as we could. Uh, we just felt like they earned it, and, and it was a great. It's a great class. Uh, a lot. I've always said those guys have put so much time and effort into it. They earned the right to play quite a bit. Um, but then the flip side of that is we knew that we were going to get an opportunity to play some of our younger guys, uh, get them in, uh, kind of see how they would perform in game-like situations. And I thought they did a good job. You know, the thing that I look for when they're out there is to make sure that we're playing clean and. and you know, pre-snap penalties, things like that, personnel issues. We didn't have any of that stuff with those guys. And, and I think in the back of their mind, they knew they might have that opportunity today. So I think they prepared the way they needed to. So when they did get out there, they, they played at a high level.